Good evening. That perfume is the result of years of research. It's worth a fortune, miss. Or should I say, Mimo? That's what the press calls you, you know. They also say you're quite a cat burglar and that you never utter a word. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Hey, what are you doing? You're threatening me with an invisible sword? Oh, hey, that's enough of that. Oh. Nice one, but the pain was real. Hey, wait! No! You're going to... Hey, nice trick, but I'm not gonna let you get away! <gasps> Flower power. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Oh, another illusion. They're all tricks. If I don't go after her now, I'll lose her. It's not going to be that easy to get away from the invisible man. No! She managed to get away. Dude, we're gonna be late. You were the one who took an hour to get out of bed. It's weird seeing you up so early. It wouldn't be because you want to see Mary. Well, no, it has nothing to do with it. I just want to catch a love cold. A love cold? <laughs> you're gonna catch a cold, all right, because you're walking around wearing nothing but a t-shirt. That's all I'm hoping for. You see, I'm getting into spiritual genetics. It's a revolutionary science that sees love as a form of a cold. Love as a cold? Are you serious? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's cool. Well, people think colds are a bummer, but really, thanks to colds, people fall in love. What a bunch of baloney. There's proof. I mean, look around at people. There are some couples who you gotta wonder, how can those two people be together? Well, that's the love cold.
Good morning, Linda. Good morning, Alan. And who is this with you, Monty? Awake in the morning? Hey, Linda. Good morning to your sarcastic flow of vibes. Say, is it Mary here? No, she has a cold. What a coincidence. Incredible. That's just incredible. I have to go sing her my ode to the flu. Ciao. Bye, Monty. His ode to the flu? Huh? Oh, well. Come on, let's get to work. Huh. Here, take these replacement batteries and tapes. Let's start with an establishing shot of the building. The university's organizing a press conference later to present a plant that was only just saved from extinction. And I really appreciate you coming to help me, but you could show a little more interest in my report, you know. Like I said, the university is going to present the last specimen of a plant that was thought to be extinct. St. Valentine's Day bonbons to ask you out for dinner tonight. Oh, thank you, Alan. Oh, Photon, you're so cute. Come here. Kissy, kissy. Aww. I accept your kind invitation. Aww. This plant right here, miraculously saved from extinction, contains certain substances that have curious molecular structures and with which we hope to be able to develop revolutionary medicines. These substances shall be available to anyone in the world. The university is committed to that. Because any country should be able to produce the resultant medicines at low cost to cure the greatest number of people. Uh, the important thing is to save lives. Alan, give me a tape. The strange flowers of this plant inspired us to select St. Valentine's Day to make this announcement. And I would like to spend... What was that? Oh, oh. oh. oh what wow. happened? Oh, oh, she shot the oh. professor. Oh. No, I'm not wounded. But what's happening? Whoa. Alan, I need a tape and a battery, quick! Alan? Alan, where are you? Oh, once again, he's walked out on me. Uh-oh. Meet again. Ugh. What am I, an idiot? She's hypnotizing me. I know it and I still fall for it. Gotta overcome my fear. Watch out! Gotcha! Hang on! Your play acting is over, young lady. That's better. Mm. That perfume. Now you'll have to come along with me. <laughs> oh. Well, if your reputation is any god, you must have stolen it. Hey, you can't believe everything people say. Uh, please accept this flower in my name. Sorry, I can't accept your rose. There's someone, a boy, who's never there when I need him, hmm? but whom I like still a little, you know? She said only a little. <laughs> Thanks, Photon. Oh, I've ruined it all again. I forgot about Linda. Her tapes. I better get changed and go talk to her. Uh -huh. Thanks. And then a ball knocked me to the ground. That's when I thought she had a whip. No, it wasn't a whip. It was a machine gun. Why did I ever become a policeman? They're all nuts. No, oh, sorry. Hmm. Wait a minute. That perfume, it's the same as earlier. Hey, that's Mimo. Who's that girl over there? Alan, where huh? were you? If only you'd given me that tape when I asked you, I could have had my scoop. I wasn't able to keep recording what was going on. I was worried about you, you know. Hey, you, who's she? Uh, I don't know. 
Listen, I'm sorry, but I have to go, and, uh... Go where? Are you gonna stand me up once again? At least tell me why, because if you're afraid, I can understand that. I can't tell you anything. Trust me. But sorry, Linda. Something strange is going on here. Visitor identified, Mino Mugliani. Come on, Photon. Let's get down to that door before it closes. <laughs> <laughs> He's seeing another girl. Good. Just wait for me here, Photon, okay? It's time for the Invisible Man to go into action now. Aww. He loves... He loves someone else. Aww. Good, she's in the shower. Let's see what this message is she just sent. Pharmacorp, a private laboratory. They're the ones who organized the theft. Operation successful, meat restaurant tonight for exchange. The stolen perfume, she kept it for herself. That's why Gina couldn't find out where she'd fenced it or if there'd been any blackmail. Plant must be in this briefcase. Photon, what happened to me? Mimo, the suitcase. It's okay, Photon. Just take me home. See, Mary? That's why hay fever only happens in spring. Exactly. What are you getting at? I'm only saying that you and I both have the same love code. Say what? <laughs> Linda, what's wrong with you? I... Hmm. Maybe it would be better if I left you girls to talk. Bye, Linda. I'll call you, Mary. I can see you're sad. Tell me what happened. <laughs> it's Alan. He loves someone else. No. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> And that's what we know. So far, no one has claimed responsibility for this, and the university hasn't received any ransom demand. A rare plant species that runs the risk of disappearing forever. Nature in danger. This is today's drama in Magnopolis. I'm now with a specialist from Pharmacorp Laboratory. Why do you think they stole the plant, sir? If we consider the value of the medicine that might be obtained from it, the plant's worth a fortune. It would be a serious loss for science and for humanity. I do hope the police find the culprit. We'll be right back after a short commercial break. Alan, do you know what happened? Mimo stole that plant. My gosh, what happened to your face? Yeah, yeah, I know all about it. I followed Mimo to her lair and she KO'd me. Any good clues? Pharmacorp is behind the robbery and Mimo, Mimo's giving them the plant tonight at a restaurant, but I don't know which one. How'd you get that info? It was written on a fax she had just sent. Good. I'll look into all the messages from there and also from Pharmacorp. I'm gonna find that restaurant. I can't go. Tonight I'm having dinner with Linda for Valentine's Day, not hanging around looking for a rare plant hidden in a briefcase. Alan, if that plant falls into the hands of Pharmacorp, that means they will be the only ones to profit from its products. Linda's too important. Besides, I'm tired of this double life, of having to lie to her. I think I'm gonna have to take a more important step. Listen to me carefully. If you tell your secret to Linda, you'll put her in great danger. You can't do that. Well, I wasn't going to go that far. But if I become invisible, then I can't stay with her. I'm going to have to cancel our Valentine's Day dinner. Sorry, Ellen. That's for the best. I didn't mean to upset you. It's just that I care about her so much. <laughs> I 
I can't make it tonight. I don't care, Alan. I'll have dinner with somebody else. You're not the only one interested in me. No, there's someone else. I'll, I'll have dinner with, with the Invisible Man. What a great host. The Invisible Man practically proposed to me this morning. Alan doesn't matter anymore. The Invisible Man, huh? Is he handsome? I don't know. I couldn't see him, Mary. He's invisible. Second thought, Gina was right. How ironic, Photon. It turns out I am gonna have dinner with Linda, but as the invisible man. <laughs> Do you think she'll forgive me for this someday? Uh-uh. <sighs> Linda shouldn't see me like this, Photon. Now the man in her life is the invisible man. You better wait for me at home. Mary, you always forget your key when I'm in the shower. Oh, it's you again. You scared me. I need you to help me tonight, Linda. Me? Tonight? Mm, that's right. Listen, I'm going to confront Milo and solve the case of the stolen plant. How can I help? Well, I want you to record it all with your camera. Why, why would you do such a thing? Contrary to what some people think, I want to help the people of Magnopolis. Don't you see? I need proof for the police to show them the different parties involved in the robbery. But I... I really don't know if I should. Linda, this plant is a priceless treasure. You've got to understand that in the hands of a private laboratory, only a few rich people will gain all its benefits. We'll go to a restaurant, which I'm sure you'll love. Mm. Marty, there's a draft in here. <laughs> oh, right, it works! <laughs> It's fabulous! Hmm? Linda? Sorry, Alan's not here. Could you leave him a message for me? Tell him I've just confirmed my dinner date with the Invisible Man. What? And tell him also, I don't need him anymore. <laughs> You're kidding. <clears throat> I'm not surprised you guys are having trouble. Alan always wears turtlenecks. I don't see how he could ever catch a love call. <laughs> Monty, Linda really meant it. Hey, are you still there? Yes, I'm yeah? here. Nope, sorry. Now remember, if there's any danger, you hide. You're welcome to my restaurant. Good evening. I have a reservation for Linda Giselle. Hmm. Would you like something to drink while you're waiting, miss? No. In fact, I'll order right away. For two. Certainly. Hmm. <laughs> You know, I'm very happy to be dining with you this evening. I appreciate it. Oh, well, it's not easy for me. Alan will never forgive me. Now, look at that. What a sad Valentine's Day. She had to invent an imaginary boyfriend. The poor girl. Of course Alan will forgive you. You're so beautiful. Don't answer me. People are watching you. They think you're talking to yourself and... <laughs> hey, over there, look. That man. I know his face. He was at the conference this morning. Hmm. Hmm. It's our turn to act now. done it at your apartment. You won't do it. Besides, I know that none of this is real. Too bad I can't get behind your silent secret. Anyway, there's one thing I am sure of. You're a thief, not a murderer. Mm -hmm. 
in the restaurant. What? Yes, you heard me. I'm pretty sure it had something to do with that dumb girl. There was no invisible man nor dumb girl here, Chief Westwood. But I saw it. And what did you see? An invisible guy, huh? If that was the case, I'm sure I would have noticed. This criminal often prompts mass hysteria, but this time, we've arrested the right crook. You've got me worried there, miss. Enjoy, love. <laughs> Thanks for everything, Linda. Well, you were here. You're welcome. By the way, that young man you talked about in the restaurant? Alan? Yes. Do you think it's possible he's still waiting? No, I don't think so. Well, I do think so. Today's a special day. Trust in St. Valentine. I'd rather put my trust in the person who takes care of the people of Magnopolis. Get any better than this? Oh, I don't know, but I'm really glad that Alan and Linda are back together again. They're on a date tonight at a restaurant the day after Valentine's Day. Now, isn't that beautiful? And you don't know the half of it, my dear. To help Alan catch a love cult, I spent all morning sneezing in his room. Oh, no! Then the invisible man jumped through the window and said, Thank you. Really? What a story. Thanks to the video I've recorded, the police are investigating PharmaCorp and all their dirty dealings. So thanks to you and the Invisible Man, the university's going to be able to produce generic medicines? Say, aren't you a little jealous of the Invisible Man? I'd be the worst kind of fool for being jealous of a hero like the Invisible Man. Let me tell you one thing. The Invisible Man is quite the gentleman, but he's not real. I prefer your little shortcomings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh no. Why is it that we always have to catch a cold at the least convenient time? Alan, are, are you alright? Alan? Alan? What are you looking at? Alan, I'm over here. <laughs> <laughs> 